Chapter 4, 1990-2004 Ma'am When Dad was 58 years of age, he came home from work and said, I think I'll take early retirement from the IMI. They were asking people to take early retirement and I dismissed it really because he loved working there. We did go and find out though to see if we could manage. He finished work on May the 3rd but right up to the day he retired I was expecting him to change his mind. What would keep him busy all the time? He was always on the go. The men organised a retirement party for him up at the Marquis in Forest Vach. Mike went up with his friend Ian and all the men from the works turned up. Dad had a terrible shock to see so many people there. They were packed to the rafters, and he even got whipped by a phony policewoman. She went on to him and asked whether he had a Granada car. He loved that car, and he was so sidetracked by this police officer that he didn't really notice her unbuttoning her tunic. We also had a party up at Ashley's nightclub in Llan Samlet. It was a complete surprise to him when he walked in and saw all the family there. The bill went around the table three times before it ended up underneath my plate. He's been retired now almost 12 years and I don't know how he ever had time to work as he's always busy doing this, that and the other. Over the years we've had the house all done out, all renovated. We built a new garage at the side of the house. Well, we've got practically everything we will need now. Everything has gone very good over the years. One day, I must tell you this, Bamba came home from work and said they're going to build a disabled swimming pool somewhere in town, I can't remember where, and they're going to have a football charity match and I'm going to play. His great friend Spider had asked him if he would play. I said, don't be so soft, will you? You haven't played for years. He said, no, no, I am going to play, I'm fit. It was on a boxing morning and it was absolutely freezing. When he came back, you've never seen anything like it. He was a proper stretcher case when he came in. He had a bath and you'll never believe it. He was off work for six weeks with all the injuries he got from playing this blinking football game. I don't think he'd ever think of playing a football game now. In fact, I don't think he'd play darts now, just in case of injuries. We've got five grandchildren, Nicola 20, Jamie 17, Kerry 15, Andrew 13 and of course we've got our Emma and she'll be six now on October the 1st. Uh, She really is the only one who is a typical Dirk and probably could talk the hind legs off a donkey. Over the years we've had quite a good life. We've kept in touch with all of the family. My mother is still living up in Ridvelin. She's almost 90 now and fitter than me. The only one we don't see is my brother Len. He has four children. They're all married and live in, in different parts of the Rhondda Valley. Mars still lives in Tenby with Robert, just moved into a bungalow. Linda lives near her. She isn't married and neither is our Tony. And he's got two beautiful little boys. Our Jackie still lives in pont with Dennis and they've still got Gavin with them. Kirk, the other boy, is living with his girlfriend and they have got two, uh, got a lovely little boy too. That only leaves our Cheryl and Gary. Their daughter Lisa is married with two children. Our Lee is more interested in rugby than what he is in girls, I think, right now. Of course, our ma'am lives with Cheryl. Our Derek still lives in the Uplands. Anne still lives in the Sandfields and her two boys aren't married with families. Pauline's two girls are married and got families. All in all, I think everybody is more or less settled and having a wonderful time. We have had two dear friends over the years, Sylvia and Ivor Berman. Uh, We've gone on holidays with them. We've had some lovely times going out with them, but we haven't been away so far this year. I don't know how much more to say now. I said about our very good friends. We have another two good friends in Maiden and Ken Charlton, but we lost one of our very good friends not so long ago, and that was John Williams but we still keep in touch with Frida. We all meet at least twice a year in the works dues, where we meet all the old people who used to work there. And, come to think of it, we're all old now. I really couldn't imagine having better children and grandchildren. Best of all, I've had a good husband. He has always been my friend and he's always been there for me. 
Mind you, like everybody else, we've had our ups and downs, but he's still there after 45 years, so I can't be that bad to live with. So as I said, that's all I can think of now, and this is the end of Mam's, so far the end of Mam's story. Mam, May 2004.